do you still think the Kyoto Protocol will survive? And I guess, you know, why should it? Why couldn't it be replaced by a new treaty? Yes, I think the, um, the Kyoto Protocol will survive, and I think the Kyoto Protocol must survive for a number of reasons. Um, one of the, the reasons is that it generally takes a little time for a new legal instrument to be ratified and to enter into force. Um, in the case of the Kyoto Protocol itself, that little time was eight years. It took eight years before between the signing of the Kyoto Protocol in 1997 and its, its entry into force. Um, so if there is an agreement on a, a new legal instrument under the Convention, which I also expect, you can't guarantee how quickly it will enter into force. And I think it's important to, uh, to avoid the gap. Um, secondly, the Kyoto Protocol provides for market-based mechanisms allows for the carbon market to function. There is no provision currently under the convention for market-based mechanisms to function. So you would have to put new mechanisms into a new treaty to see them function. Um, and then once again, they would only function once the new treaty entered into force. And what you don't want to see is a sort of gap with the clean development mechanism, joint implementation, and emissions trading stopping um, because of the Kyoto Protocol, and then you know, not being able to, to continue for, uh, for X numbers of years. And thirdly, as many developing countries have pointed out, the, um, the Kyoto Protocol is the only legally binding instrument that we have to, to act on climate change. And there is no good reason at this moment uh, to abandon it. What there is good reason for is to come to a new process under the convention that engages the United States, that allows for broader participation of developing countries, and that really 